are investigating a situation brought into our to our attention today from a parent within the West Fargo School District. A spokesperson with the district says a security guard at Cheyenne High School was removed from campus today after allegations of inappropriate conversations with a female student came to light this morning. Principal Ryan Salisbury says administration received a text a tip from a student expressing concerns regarding the situation and shortly after the guard was asked to leave. Following the story for us tonight is Valley News Team's Aaron Walling. He joins us now live in studio. Aaron? Well, Kaylee, I spoke with several parents today who say after today's news, they're concerned for their child's safety. One parent said that some of these teachers and coaches cross the line when it comes to communication with their students. The West Fargo School District has policies in place when it comes to boundaries. The communication policy with staff for staff member states engaging in conversations with a student when sharing information does not benefit the student crosses ethical boundaries. It also says engaging in friendships with students through the use of email, texting or social media should be avoided. This is the second time this week that someone associated with the school districts in the Fargo Moorhead area was accused of inappropriate conversations with students. I spoke with a therapist from the village who says that if your child is involved with these type of conversations that it might not be they might not be able to understand that it's not their fault. Oftentimes it looks like blaming themselves for what's going on instead of recognizing that actually this adult is not acting appropriately with me. Um, so that is work. <clears throat> that's a lot of work that I end up doing with kiddos is trying to kind of decipher what's really going on here. Principal Salisbury says that until the investigation can be completed, Shine High School will not be contra contracting with ASP for Moorhead for another security guard. The school district said that they have had ASP for at least a decade utilizing them as a lower cost option to assess the SROs. They also said that West Fargo Police provides them with seven SROs. Kaylee, when I asked ASP for any comment, they said they declined. All right, thanks so much, Aaron. Uh, instead, I'm told that the school will be partnering with the West Fargo Police Department to have a school resource officer on site.